The state's attorney general turns to the courts in an effort to have St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner removed from office. Gardner is not stepping down and spoke out for the first time since this controversy began. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal joins us live with the circuit attorney's response and the attorney general's accusations. Jeff. That's right, Mandy. Uh, Kim Gardner pushing back against Attorney General Andrew Bailey's lawsuit that was filed today. She says the focus in this case should be on the victim and the prosecution of the person responsible for her injuries. Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey attending a banquet supporting backstoppers Thursday night. Earlier in the day, his office filed a lawsuit contending St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner should no longer be the city's prosecutor. So this is the legal remedy provided by the state of Missouri to the Attorney General as a check and balance on this kind of behavior. The Attorney General alleges Gardner's office failed to take steps to keep a man facing robbery charges behind bars. Daniel Riley now faces charges for critically injuring Tennessee teen Janae Edmondson. The AG also mentions the backlog of cases the circuit attorney's office faces and accuses Gardner of not having proper staffing levels. It is particularly frustrating that the willful ignorance has empowered the ongoing harassment of the hardworking men and women in my office. Yes. Gardner says her office did make attempts to keep Riley behind bars. On three separate occasions, as recently as last month, my office requested the defendant's bond be revoked. The court either denied or ignored each of these requests. Bailey told our Missouri Capitol Bureau court records say otherwise. There are inconsistencies in what she's saying and what appears in the docket entries in the case she's referencing. And again, we point that out in our petition for quote warranto. We have what's called oral motions to revoke bond. Those can be made orally or written. And in this jurisdiction, they are made orally, and that is normal practice. And that was done in this case on numerous occasions. The 22nd Judicial Circuit Court released transcripts Thursday that indicated prosecutors did not seek a higher bond. And late tonight, the 22nd Judicial Circuit Court uh, releasing information that it has recused itself from hearing this lawsuit. Uh, it's possible that judges here in this uh, circuit court could be called to testify. Coming up on Fox 2 News at 10, what would happen next if the courts do end up removing the St. Louis Circuit Attorney from office? Reporting live downtown, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.